Time for Ryan's Roses as a public service. Dear Ryan and Sisney, uh, it starts with, I think my husband's cheating on me. A few days ago, he left the house with a white shirt on, came home wearing a blue one. Mm. Now, my first thought is the gym. That's what I was going to say. It wasn't gym clothes. Because I definitely don't like to like move around and sweat if I could catch a cold. I called him out, and he kept saying he left with the blue shirt, but I know he's wearing a white shirt. And then last night, I smelled a woman's perfume on his shirt. He <laughs> said it wasn't perfume, but hand soap at work. He's hiding something from me. Interesting. Let me see here. Cynthia, could it, the gym is what I'm thinking. But... Why come, why come back in a different dress shirt? Just put the same clothes you wore to work on, back on. Cynthia, how are you? I'm doing good, Ryan. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Uh, so uh, just, is there any chance he went to work out and then put on a different shirt to come back because he was sweaty? No, that's not something he normally does. He doesn't go to the gym. I know in my mind he was wearing the white shirt. Okay, that's... You know in your mind, but you, like, you're not 100% sure. Yeah, I, I, I think know women know this stuff. I, I, we guys, sometimes you'll get a haircut and it'll we'll think we see something yeah, on you a Monday. Yeah, like a week later, and then we say something eventually. <laughs> Other times you tell us things and we hear you, but we don't respond for twelve minutes. That's true as well. Uh, and the perfume, it was you sure it's perfume, not cologne. Sometimes I spray that Axe body stuff at the gym. No, it, it like... was perfume. I know, it's, I I know it was perfume as much as. He tells me it's soap from work and that he spilled something and he had to clean it out. It's perfume. I'm a, okay. I'm a woman. I'm his wife. And I need your guys' help because I feel like he's really hiding something from me. And I love him. And it's been eight years. And I I just need your guys' help. Cynthia, let me get some timeline. What time of day did he leave? Um, we both normally leave around 7.30 in the morning Could to get to work of, on time. Time of day he returned? Uh, roughly about maybe six, six forty-five. And his normal arrival at home time in the evening is what? Um, six forty-five. It's always the same. Depending on traffic, yeah. Has he been acting weird besides this incident? No, this is just always what he says. You know, it's just little instincts where I know I saw something, and it's just no, honey, it's this. And I have a short-term memory, so I, I go with what my husband tells me. I've been with him. We have adorable children. How many kids do you have? We have two kids. Okay. Hang on, Cynthia, one second. We're going to get into the call, okay? Okay. All right, hang tight. We'll come back uh, for Ryan's Roses quickly. Here. About to call Cynthia's husband. Married eight years. They've got kids. He left in a white shirt, came back in a blue shirt. He left in the morning, came back at night after work, and then he smelled like perfume. And she is convinced that he's cheating on her. I mean, she really feels strongly. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to poke some holes in it and can't figure out why he might... Uh, have changed shirts. I thought maybe there was a gym involved in the middle of the day. But he smells like perfume, she says. He says it's soap from the office. So, Cynthia, what we're going to do here is we're going to call your husband, and Sisney's going to offer him some roses. We want to find out who he sends those roses to and then what words, thoughts, emotion he puts on the card, okay? Okay. I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call, whatever his name is, on KISS FM. Ryan, you have my permission to call on KISS FM. Right, you'll be able to hear everything, but be quiet. We want to really try and get as much information as possible, okay? Okay. All right. Thanks, Cynthia. Hang on. Here we go. Good luck. Hello? This is Mario. Hi, Mario. My name is Sasha. I'm calling from Flowers and Sweets. We're a new flower shop here in the area in Chino. How are you doing this morning? I'm good, thanks. Uh, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Flowers and Sweets. We're a new flower shop here in the area. We're um, right on Central Avenue. I'm calling because we're trying to promote our delivery service, so we're giving away a dozen roses today. They're absolutely free, and you've been selected to receive them. Actually, technically, you can give them to somebody. So is there anybody that you'd like to send those roses to? Um... How much does this cost? They're free. I promise. They're absolutely free. I don't need your credit card information or any billing information. We just, you know, hope that you promote us to friends and family. That's all. We're just trying to get the word out. We've been here for a few months now, and business has been a little slow. Um. Well, no, I, no, I don't think I have anybody to to send them to. I just like I have a wife, and I don't want to well, raise expectations. So no, I, I'm not right. interested. Oh, your wife would love these. They're absolutely free. It's, no, it's like a I dozen said, red roses. Raise expectations. Uh, I, I don't want to do that. 
raise expectations. Yeah, like Trust me, like com- coming from a, coming yeah. from a woman, I I don't think it would raise expectation. I think she would love them, and that would be it. Yeah, no, I know my wife, so no, no, thank you. Uh, um, are you sure they're absolutely free? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Mario, it's Ryan Seacrest, and your wife Cynthia is on the phone. I need you to realize your voice is being broadcast now on the radio. Uh, uh. Cynthia, would you like to ask him the first question? I, I, Mario, why would your wife not appreciate flowers in your mind? It's just that she's going to start thinking things that she's not supposed to think. That's all. What does that mean? Uh, it's just that... If I send her flowers, then she's going to start asking me, what did I do wrong? And why did you do something wrong? No, that's the problem. So, Cynthia, would you interpret roses sent to you as guilt? No. But it makes me feel like how I'm not worthy for him to give me flowers, even if they're for free. Like, Mario, they were for free. They're why, if you feel like I'm going to feel like you've done something, maybe you have. Cynthia, last time I gave you chocolate, you acted like this. You started crying, and then you started asking me if I did something wrong. So, no, Mario, should I repeat this again? Mario, hold on. Maybe you, you have done something wrong, and that's the yeah. reason she has us on the phone. So let me just ask you point blank. Are you cheating on your wife? She seems to think you are. You smelled like perfume, and you've changed your clothes to and from work. Something's going on in her mind. Can you explain it? This is the white shirt all over again, okay? So a few weeks ago, I was wearing, like, white shirts all week, and one day she thinks I'm wearing a different shirt, and she makes trouble out of that. So, Cynthia, is this, like, one of your episodes? It's like, like... What? What episodes, Mario? You were wearing a white shirt when you left. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Yes, no. last night. The way your shirt smells. It's, honey, I love you, and I love the life that we have. Please. I yes. just need to know the Me truth. Too. I know yes. what I smelled on a shirt. No, that was hand soap, okay? It's like you are trying to, I don't know, come up with those stories all over the place. Maybe it's because you need to go back to work, or I don't know, like the, the girls are there, like, Maybe they drive you insane. I don't know. But Mario, what do you well, mean by one of your ep- episodes here? Were your wife's episodes? She's been more paranoid than usual. Well, you're making her feel paranoid. It sounds like. No, I've just been working a lot lately. L- listen, I'm trying to give the life that my girls deserve. Like I've been working every day, and sometimes the job requires me to stay up late. And when I come back. She thinks I'm wearing a different shirt, or she thinks I smell like perfume, Cynthia. or when I give her chocolate, she thinks that I'm cheering on her for some reason. Okay, Cynthia, do you think you could be creating some of this in your mind? No, Ryan. I wouldn't call you guys. I'm on the radio. This is something. It's my family. Cynthia, who am I cheating with? Like, who do you think I'm cheating you? I really feel like you're cheating on me with Marissa. Why is she asking me about you? Oh, my. Okay, Marissa, your best friend, Marissa? No. Love, I have good taste in women. And trust me. In if women? If I'm going to cheat with somebody, it wouldn't be her. Well, wait, Mario, I mean, this is Mary, not a oh conversation gosh. you should be having. All right, um, Cynthia... I'm going to put you on hold and Mario on hold uh, so that you guys can continue to speak here off the air. Uh, and we're <sighs> going to think about this for a second. Him talking is not good. Mm-mm. Like he just He's digging himself deeper. <laughs> First of all, he said women plural. And then he says, if I was going to cheat, it wouldn't be with your best friend. That's awful. He's not treating her great. But is he cheating? Hang on. Hmm.